This weekend, the Washington Post published a phone call of Donald Trump with election officials in Georgia, and he demanded them to find him enough votes to overturn the election and continue to push his conspiracy theories and... <sighs> This guy uh, is completely unhinged. At first, I truly believe this. At first, this guy knew he lost. He even started to accept it, which is why he didn't leave the White House anymore, why he ate a McDonald's um, so much that the entire White House reeked of fast food. But... He also saw this as a chance to grift some more money out of his supporters, which he did. And of course, because he has such a giant ego, which is also very fragile, he couldn't bring himself to publicly say, I lost. And the longer and longer this grift went on, the more he started to believe his own bullshit. As his own niece, Mary Trump, has pointed out. Donald Trump is a guy who is absolutely capable of gaslighting himself. So now he really believes all the conspiracy theories he started to push about two months ago. And back then it's questionable if he believed them, now he clearly does. And that is pathetic. This man, once he leaves office, doesn't just... Uh, get to go to Mar-a-Lago. And I'm not just talking about, well, state prosecutions and that the federal government should actually also go after him for what he's doing right now, but I'm talking about this guy should probably be uh, sent into a mental institution because he clearly isn't mentally stable. And not just that, there are People within the Republican Party that continue to back this up. Somebody like Josh Hawley, who is uh, celebrated for pushing the $2,000 uh, relief bill. The one-time payments together with Bernie Sanders in recent weeks. Great, you know why he did this? So that he can appear populist, especially because Donald Trump also pushed the same idea, only that Trump did so in order to say, fuck you to Mitch McConnell. And then there's, of course, Ted Cruz, and both Cruz and Hawley both plan to object to the election results um, come Wednesday when they are when Congress uh, meets in a session of both the House and the Senate uh, to verify the Electoral College results. And when they um, challenge uh, the results, um, their respective chambers uh, chambers have to reconvene and uh, determine if they're going to set up a investigatory committee to um, look into the challenges. And if and this is where this thing gets interesting. Why those who say, "Oh my God, Trump's coup is still going on, and he's going to overturn this election somehow," no, because. Not only can the Democrats downvote that happening in the House, uh, even, and also the Senate, there are enough Senate Republicans uh, who also don't want these committees, uh, and also enough House Republicans who are also opposed to that, that together with the Democrats they can easily say, okay, this is over, and, but even if they vote for this and they don't come up with any actual conclusion prior to January 20th, you know who becomes president? Nancy Pelosi, because she's the Speaker of the House. So, there is no way for Donald Trump to stay president after noon, January 20th. None whatsoever. Because none of these committees are going to suddenly say, well, no, there's evidence for voter fraud. That's not going to happen. And if they delay this until after January 20th, 
Mike Pence doesn't even have to sign uh, the um, results to put the final verification on them. That responsibility would fall to Chuck Grassley as the president pro tempore of the United States Senate. <sighs> So other options that people are worried about is Trump declaring martial law. Here's the thing, so while he has started to replace the uh, civilian leadership of the military, the military itself doesn't really like him. They really think the US military would say, yeah, yeah, we're going to start shooting at our own people because this guy is telling us to. There would be open secession within the military. And judging by donations and votes in the last election cycle, the majority of military members would side with Joe Biden on this. Trump is done. There's nothing he can do to remain president after January 20th. And people who continue to push the idea that he could, liberals and progressives, who play along with this, because it gets them clicks. Please stop. There is no way for Trump to remain in office.